Hi. So you're wondering about design thinking, right? Uh, what you may have heard is that it's a human-centered design process. In actual fact, this is the process. It consists of five stages. And these stages actually help you figure out what it is that's going to, uh, what the need of the customer is or the user is to begin with. Then you sort of learn how to define it. We, could, we say define that problem statement or that actual need. Then you go through the stage where you start to think of ideas like out of the box, out of the moon kind of thing. There is no box anymore. Then you start to build some prototypes and this could be just on paper, drawings, storyboards. You literally, you play. The more you play, the better things go. And then you test it. You go back and you actually test it with the users. So it sounds pretty simple. And yes, you can do a lot of reading and you can figure things out and you could actually apply it yourself. Definitely not going to say you can't do that. But the advantage of going to a workshop or, or coming to my workshops about design thinking is that you get the opportunity to actually interact. Um, so I've taken some time to figure out how to move from doing facilitating design thinking in a classroom space, uh, going to online, and how can we actually make it so interactive that, that you're, you're, you're here, you're present throughout the workshop that um, you're figuring out a lot of things, you're using the tools and that, that you're excited about it, that you take the most away from it. So that's why you should do design thinking with me.